Is the pain of estrangement leaving you lost and overwhelmed? You are not alone in that. And this video, I want to talk about the stress of estrangement and how to cope. I want to dive into four strategies to help you reclaim some of that peace and your power back for your own life so you can move forward. Because I know you're tired of the emotional roller coaster. So join me on how to turn some of those lowest points into stepping stones for growth because that's what this is about, my friends. It is time for you to take that back. This is your emotional journey because only you can do this for yourself. I can't do it for you, nobody can, but I know that you will be so glad that you did. So let's dive right in. Number one, I wanna talk about social connections. We all talk about social media, right? But what about social connections in real life? I think we have lost that gift. And I wanna encourage you that if you are walking away from friends and family and people that you used to see socially, those are some people that can provide some emotional support and in turn decrease some feelings of isolation. Social media is not going to help you decrease isolation, right? We're talking about real face-to-face -face contact with people. And you might be feeling some of that. And so I know a lot of moms will walk away from people because they don't wanna talk about the situation, which on one hand, I completely understand and you do have to be very careful and remember that you need to be um, very discerning about who you share this information with because not everyone, even those that love you the most, they're not all going to be able to understand and walk through this with you. So you need these certain people to be health in a healthy season um, with you, right? So, but not everyone that you love falls into that category. So that being said, it also doesn't mean you should isolate yourself. So I want to uh, help you learn how to respectfully tell people also that you're not wanting to discuss the situation, but yet you still want to enjoy their company. So that's okay to do that. It's okay. You don't owe anyone anything right? So you need to figure out who are those people. And I recently did a video on that. You can check that out. But number two, um, I'm asking you, have you ever done a digital detox? Who thought we'd ever have to do a digital detox? But uh, keeping track of your screen time can be so enlightening. It can be so enlightening. You have no idea how much time you're spending on your phones or your computers and especially social media. But I want you to think about what that digital detox could actually look like in your world. You know, is it Instagram? Is it Facebook, YouTube? Is it TikTok, right? Watching videos, looking at recipes, health stuff, trying to keep up with the Joneses, wondering what the other your other friends in your world, uh, what their family looks like, and it's not measuring up to what yours is looking like, and so it's causing distress for you. You know, focusing on estrangement to the point where that's all you think about I would encourage you to set a specific time of the day where you can avoid that and engage in real world, real world life. Go outside, have coffee with a friend, go do something that gets you away from electronics and out in nature. So for those of you that are watching and we've never connected before and you are at the point where you're like, I am ready for some coaching. I need somebody to walk alongside me on this estrangement journey. Um, then that is the time for you to reach out on a discovery call. So you can click the link below. It's not a coaching call. It's a consultation. There's a series of questions you'll answer when you sign up. And I look forward to talking with you. Number three is emotional journaling. Are you someone that journals? I know I, I have been at certain times in my life, not always, but I know a lot of moms that do, and it's a great way to express your thoughts and feelings. And it's a powerful way to process your emotions. It really is. What, you know, if you haven't done it yet, what about just taking like 10 minutes a day, whether it be at the beginning or the end of the day? I always like the end of the day because then you're processing your thoughts for the day, which will hopefully, hopefully help you rest easier by getting them out on paper. And a lot of people have different ways that they journal. There's no right or wrong, whatever you're comfortable with. My favorite is the brain dump. Like I've said before, where you just write and write and write, and I usually just set a timer, and I can't even read what I wrote when I get done, and it doesn't matter because it's out. It's out, and it just it just feels good to get that done and get it on paper. Um, 
So that is an option for you. And then lastly, number four, personal development. When's the last time you thought about that? When's the last time you focused on your own personal growth? We're all here in this situation, but you're thinking about how you're going to help your child grow, right? How you're going to empower them and help them grow. What about yourself? So that will help you understand yourself and also improve, you know, the way you handle stressful situations whether it's related to estrangement or not. What about taking a workshop or taking a class? That's not only going to be stress management for you, but hopefully it will help you focus on just your overall, overall well-being, which in turn is going to have a positive side effect because it's going to help you navigate these challenges of estrangement or a rocky relationship with your child. It's Your relationship is strained, whether you're estranged or not. If you have a strained relationship, that causes stress. You have to find ways to find peace and find something that you're interested in because that is going to be, uh, you're going to be associating with like-minded people. And that's the goal, right? So I hope that helps you. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.